Now at five, the search is on for an animal cruelty suspect in Delaware County. A veterinary clinic says the same man left kittens to die in a sealed box right outside the Sharon Hill facility twice in one month. It's Wednesday night. The big story on Action News is the investigation into the horrific case of animal abuse in Sharon Hill. Authorities have now released an image of the man they say is behind these acts. Well, let's go to Action News reporter John Paul. He's live for us now in Sharon Hill with the full story tonight. John. Yeah, sorry, Rick, those uh, kittens were left behind this door right here. They were sealed in a bin that had duct tape on it. In all, five kittens were killed on two separate occasions. Now police are involved. Take a look at your screen. Tonight, police in Sharon Hill are looking for this man carrying a large plastic bin. He was captured on surveillance on two separate occasions, leaving the bins outside of the Spade Club on Chester Pike. He came from across the tracks. What was inside those bins still haunts this staff. The lid was taped shut with duct tape. She had opened it and saw two dead kittens. That bin was left on Saturday, July 15th, while the clinic was closed. It happened again this past Friday, after hours. Another bin, taped shut, this time three dead kittens inside. She believes the animals suffocated to death. Horrific, tragic, one of suffering and pain and unnecessary. The Spade Club is a nonprofit vet clinic that offers low cost services to help control the pet population. They've had others drop off animals in the past, but it's been while they were open. This sign on the door clearly spells out not to leave animals after hours. It is cruel and illegal and they will die. And that's exactly what happened. Tonight, Sharon Hill police are looking for the person they believe dumped the animals in the bin. They want to talk to him about what happened. But the employees of the clinic want justice for the five kittens who suffered so much in their short lives. It's just all around terrible to know that somebody could do that and did do that. And that's something that will stay with me for a long, long time. I did talk with Sharon Hill Police today. They tell me they're working with surrounding departments trying to identify the man that you saw uh, in that surveillance picture. In the meantime, if you might have an animal and you're not sure what to do with it, the best thing to do is to call a clinic ahead of time to see if you can work something out. Laughing Sharon Hill, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Rick.